Hi everyone, I'm Jason Jurtich, and this is The Mobile Philosopher. In this video, we're going to see how to use a USB mic with a Chromebook in order to record professional sounding audio or music using an application called Soundtrap. So the first thing we need to do is to go down here and check the Chromebook settings, which is under this area here. And then we go to the audio section, which is this part here. And then we go to the arrow directing itself to the right. Then here we have output and input. If you've already plugged in your USB mic, it should come up here automatically. If it does not, it means the Chromebook does not have the drivers for that mic, but most USB mics should work. In this case, we have an iRig mic HD, which is working perfectly fine. Once that's been selected, all we have to do is click out of that and then go in here into Soundtrap, opening up in a new tab, and then going to new track. Here we're gonna click on voice and microphones. And here we have various options that we can use. If we click on this, we're going to have possibilities of changing this to pop, church, blues, etc. And basically what that does is change the reverb and the volume and adds other special effects that you can click on here, which you can add. And there are many, many options here that you can use. Outside of that, if you go and hover over the reverb, if you scroll down or up, it will raise and lower the reverb here. So we'll just leave it as a halfway. After that, we go here to the headphones and click on that to focus on that track. Then we go here to R to enable recording. And then we're gonna to go to settings and click on sound setup. Here it says plug in your mic, which we've already done. Here it says default. And this is where some confusion could have uh, taken place in the sense that in many other videos, you see that there is a, uh, a drop-down list here where you can choose one or more microphones. But on a Chromebook, that doesn't work that way because you have to already have selected it under the sound, which we've already done here. So here, don't worry about it when it says default. This does not mean it's using the computer mic. It's rather just using the microphone that you have previously chosen before in the sound settings. So we're going to click on next. And then it says we're going to sing for a while, and then we're going to be quiet. Please bear with me as I do that. Okay, so we've done our, our testing there. It says we're done. And here there's something very interesting. It says on your operating system, monitoring is not yet supported. But I've already spoken to the ones who are working with Soundtrip, and they say that within two or three months, this should be available. So now we're going to click on OK. And then we're going to make a very brief test here by clicking on editor and then pressing record. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It processes the audio and then we're going to put our cursor here at the beginning just to make sure that this is working perfectly fine. We're going to click on play. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. And as you can see, it works out perfectly fine. Here we can bring ourselves back to the beginning. It has normal options here. As you can see, it has loop. It has the possibility of adjusting the end. And if we click very closely to the white button there, it'll have the possibility of fading out as well. So all of these things are really nice and allow you to create music and other things similar to that, like, for example, podcasts and whatnot, in a fairly professional manner. So if you have any questions or comments about what we've seen in the video here, please leave them in the down below. And I will try to make other videos in relationship to Soundtrap later on so you guys can get more accustomed to it. Thanks a bunch. Take care.